This is my journey using the correct methods and exercises to get a smaller waist and more of an hourglass figure than I'd ever had before. All throughout high school I tried various different methods and diets to try and lose weight. Sometimes I would have results but I'd also have weeks of no results at all. And even in those times where I had results, sometimes the weight of my belly would come straight back. When I think back to coming home every single day after school and doing 300 to 500 crunches in my room and then having periods of time where I gained it all back, I knew for me it was important to finally lose the weight for good. And at the time I was surrounded by people who could eat whatever they wanted and I went days cutting out foods which only made me more unhappy. I finally decided to look into what actually helps you to lose the weight for good and keep your slimmer figure. I first had to decide if I want a quick fix or to never have to start all over again. In my previous video I mentioned how the exercise you do is actually so crucial to seeing results, not only that but where you start and your starting point is going to be detrimental to how long it will take you to see those results. Because I was starting off at a much bigger weight, I was doing loads of toning workouts such as the Lily Sabi, Emmy Wong and so many others and I wouldn't see results. It was important for me to understand that I had to get rid of the fat in front of that in order to even see those results in the first place. I've had a lot of experience ending up looking quite square after certain workouts. For example, the crunches work out the outer muscles, which obviously are used in a lot of bodybuilding. Planks, abdominal brace and diagonal crunches tend to be ranked the best for achieving a slimmer waist due to the fact that it works the oblique muscles and it gives a deeper isolation in the stomach muscular. When I first started out, my motivation wasn't all there. I went from doing nothing in terms of exercising every single day to really wanting to smash this journey. With that in mind, 50% of new members quit the gym within the first six months. Creating a list and researching which movements are the most effective was really good for my motivation while my energy was at its peak to allow me to keep going. When I started to understand what causes me to not have a slimmer waist and an hourglass figure, it was so much easier to be aware of how to keep the results coming. It's not about cutting out everything because this donut right here will not be the reason why I single-handedly am not able to get rid of my belly fat. It starts with high blood glucose, which then activates high insulin levels. This then gives us fat storage. Some of the fat we use now, some of it we store for later. It was important for me to understand when selecting my foods and choosing what I wanted to eat during this journey that if my insulin is kept high by frequent high carbohydrate meals, the insulin will prevent me from using that stored fat, i.e. weeks of not seeing results, feeling like you can't visually see any differences and your waist still being the same week after week after week when you feel like you're putting all the work in. Not only this, but getting to my goal, this also activates a lot of cravings for me. I used to always have a really good day of eating and then very late at night is when I would eat absolutely everything. When I regulated my insulin, this became a lot easier to not do. This process causes low blood sugar. When it peaks and crashes, that means we are going to start craving. We'll then start looking for a quick fix. By changing my food choices, I broke the constant loop and cycle. When we are stressed, it's a state where our body wants more energy because our body responds to it feeling like there's a heightened demand, so it has to create more energy. No matter what your glucose levels are, when you're stressed, our bodies will want more energy fast, which means more cravings. I had to try my hardest to eliminate the things in my life that was causing me stress. School, work, people. If I couldn't, I needed to change how I dealt with stress.